Hi everyone, my name is Ray Prakash and we are starting logarithms today. Okay, so logarithms is an important topic for CAT because you will see in every CAT and ZAT question every year, you will see one or two questions from logarithms, right? So it's an easy chapter because it has got limited concepts, right? 8 to 10 concepts and then we can 8 to 10 logical and concepts and then we can move on to practice questions. Okay. So we'll look at all the properties of logarithms and then we'll do all the questions of basics to advanced level, right? So just watch this two, three videos on logarithms. So let's say first one. Now, why logarithm was introduced, right? So because say in mathematics, if we write, write some a raised to x is equal to n, right? So we can write here, we can write here a in terms of n. We can write here n in terms of a. That means I can write like, okay, or a is equal to n raised to 1 by x. I can write it. But I can't write x in terms of, I can't write x equal to something. This I can't write. Huh? Because x is in power here, right? So to write powers in terms of the variables here or numbers, we have introduced logarithms, right? So that means what is the meaning of logarithms? If a raised to x is equal to n is given, okay, then you can always write or can always always write x is equal to log a in base n. Okay. So this is the meaning of logarithms. If a raised to x equal to n, that means we can write x is equal to log base a and uh, log n to the base a. So n is here called, sorry, a is here called base. Okay, so a is the base here. Okay. Now see, there are certain conditions here. So if I write sometime log a b, log a b. Okay. So a is called the base here and b is called the argument. Huh. So there are certain conditions for it. So the base that is a, a cannot be equal to 1. Right. I'll tell you later why it cannot be equal to 1 because this will go into the denominator and then log 1 is 0. So denominator cannot contain 0. That's why this base cannot be 1. Right. We'll see later. Huh. Everything we'll see. So a is not equal to 1. a should be a positive number as well as b should be a positive number. This is the definition of logarithm. Right. Once you write log a, b, if you are writing log a, b huh, on paper, that means automatically these conditions you are putting base is not equal to 1, base is positive as well as argument is also positive. That means log is defined for only positive numbers. So log is logarithms or log is defined only for positive numbers, only for positive numbers. Fine. Okay. So actually this meaning of this log, log is right. The first property I can say of log is if you have log base a b, right? So you can just quickly change the base as per you want. Huh? That means I want my base to be c. So I can say quickly write like this log of some base c b upon log of some base c a. This is called base change formula of log, right? That means we can, as per our convenience, change the base, uh, change the base of log, which I require in the question. Suppose the log is here base a. And I want some other basic question log C. So I can, I can quickly, quickly write log B to the base A is equal to log B base C upon log A base C. Okay. This is called base change formula of log, right? So by this logic, I can't put A equal to 1 here because if I put A1 here, what will happen in this case? So if I put A1 here, it becomes log 1, like 1, 5. So log 1, 5 is equal to log some other base, right? Let's say I can introduce log base 10. 5 upon log base 10 1 right so this is log log uh, log 5 to the base 1 and i can write log 5 to the base 10 is equal to log 1 to the base 10 because by by same base change formula but here log 10 1 actually log 10 1 is 0 huh? log of a 1 is always 0 whatever with the base here log of a argument is 1 that value is 0 right and this number cannot take a zero here, right? Log one is zero and this number cannot take a zero here. It can't be, we can't write some value defined by, by zero. It is undefined, not defined. Okay. This is undefined. That's why log cannot take the value of base as one. This is the reason behind it, right? So till now, there are two important properties I can say. 
whenever I write that log of base a n is equal to right x then I can always write n is equal to a raised to a this is by definition of log right so simply a will come here huh, and x will go in power therefore n is equal to a raised to x right this is the can write the first very important property of log okay second property we just did base change formula like log a b is equal to log c b upon log c b right so two very important formulas of log okay now for example if we have like log of x x minus 1 okay now let's say i solve for x here right so what is the value of x in this case? so if we have log of x x minus 1 so putting the conditions of log here base should be z greater than 0 base cannot be equal to 1 and argument also should be positive so x has, has to satisfy these three conditions simultaneously right so that means in this case x is greater than 0 <coughs> x is greater than 0 and here x is greater than 1 therefore x is greater than 1 this is a combined definition of the combined uh, uh, part of all these three uh, three given statements here x is greater than 0 x is not equal to 1 and x minus 1 greater than 0 that means x is greater than 1 so for this question answer will be x is greater than 1 satisfies all the conditions right now if i put something different here let's say if i put log of 1 minus x and log of x minus 2 now we have to solve for x so if i put same conditions here now, first condition 1 minus x should be greater than 0, base should be greater than 0, base should not be equal to 1 and argument also should be positive. So here I will see by first condition x has to be less than 1. By second condition x is x cannot be equal to 0 and by third condition x is greater than 2. So what is the combined part of what is the combined part of all these three statements? So if x is less than 1 as well as x is more than 2, so no values can satisfy these two parallelly because x is one side I am saying that x is less than 1, other side I am saying that x is more than 2, right? So these values cannot satisfy parallelly. Therefore, this is wrong, this is wrong, right? That means this is undefined. This is undefined, not defined, right? So if I write a statement like this, log of 1 minus x x minus 2, it has to be undefined because all three statements of log are not parallelly satisfied by any value of x. Okay. Now, let's say if I write here log of x minus 3 and let's say my base here is x minus 1. Again, let us solve for x in this case. So, what is x in this case now? So, x minus 1 is positive greater than 0. That is a base. x minus 1 is not equal to 1 as well as x minus 3 is greater than 0. So by first condition we got x is greater than 1, fine. By second we got x is not equal to 2, okay. And by third is got x is greater than 3. So what is the combined statement of all these three parts? So that means x is greater than 1 and x is greater than 3. Both have to be satisfied simultaneously, right? But that means for example, if I put both on number line, so this is infinity, this is minus infinity x is greater let's say this is 1 here so x is greater than 1 that means it can take all the values more than 1 x is greater than 3 that means it can take all the values more than 3 so what is the com combination of both the parts right this is the combination of both the parts x greater than 3 exist in both the parts that means our answer for this question is x greater than 3 and obviously i have to i have to take care of the statement that x is not equal to 2 so by these two statements only i'm getting x is greater than 3 that means obviously x is not equal to 2 this is the answer one for me this question right so log of uh, x minus 3 base x minus 1 what is the value of x so x can take all the values greater than 3 okay so i hope it is clear right okay now let's move to third property of log so third property of log is if i write like this log of mn 
right then multiplication right again in log i can automatically take base as 10 right so log is defined all for base 10 okay so if log nothing base is also given no base is given you can assume base to be 10 so if there is a log of 10 mn so i can write this as log of 10 m plus log of 10 n okay this is the meaning of log here so this is a property of log that multiplication of two numbers inside log if i break the brackets it turns into additions log 10 m plus log 10 n right for example if we have like this log of let's say 10 plus 5 so you can simply write obviously you can write this as log of 15 no issue right but if we have log of 10 5 plus log of 10 2 then we can obviously then write this as what is this this is m this is n so log of 10 m plus log of 10 n is equal to log 10 m n this i can write as log 10 as 5 into 2 and is equal to log 10 10 okay so this is the basic property of log right now fourth property of log i can write here itself is when base and argument of log is same log a and a this value is 1 so whenever base and argument of log is same then log of a base a is equal to 1 right that means here also you can write log of 10 10 which should be equal to 1 okay so whenever base and argument of log is same that has to be equal to log of base 1 yeah okay so i hope you got this funda here yeah? okay so this is log of 10 10 plus 5 so i can't this is simply addition it's not multiplication not, not resembling here so i can't apply the property of log here here i can apply the property of log this way to this way or it should be this way to this way okay now let's move to fifth property of log so fifth property of logs log should be for division right let's say log of m by n now this is equal to so in multiplication it was addition in division it is subtraction it is equal to log of m minus log of n okay i can put any base here base could be 10 fine okay so log of m by n equal to log of 10 so for example log of 20 by 7 is equal to log of 20 minus log of 7 i can write like in this log okay okay this, this is the next property of log log of let's say a raised to q and b raised to p right you're getting it this a raised to q is the base and b raised to p is the argument of log so if it is a if it is a case like this huh, if it is a case like this in this case this p and q gets uh, before the log it's like this p by q log of base a and b log of b to the base a this is a property okay the very good property very useful property all the logs property properties are very useful right especially this one so log of a base a log of base a power q and argument b power p in that case i can simply write p by q log a b for example if i have something like this log of let's say base is 81 and argument is 243 so what we can write like this this both are powers of 3 here i can write this is 81 84 81 is 3 raised to 4 and 243 is 3 raised to 5 so we can write like this this is equal to 5 by 4 of log 3 to the base 3 so this becomes what i know that when log base and argument is same log 3 to the base 3 is 3 its value is 1 that means 5 by 4 right so log of 3 to the base 3 its value is 1 ah, whenever log i have got same argument and base its value is 1 this is this would be 5 by 4 so log 243 to the base 81 its value would be what 5 by 4 this is a good property of log right we'll use we'll use all this in solving good questions right advanced questions basic questions all good questions will solve right let's move to seventh property of log now okay this is a property like whenever you have like a raised to log bc this can be simply written as c raised to 
log b a. Okay, so this a and c can be interchanged, right? So whenever a raised to log c to the base b is equal to c raised to log a to the base b, right? This example, for example, here if I write let's say n raised to log base 17 91 is equal to 91 square. So what is the value of n from here? Right? So quite simply I can apply this property. Like if uh, we have log uh, 17, so we can just simply replace n and 91 here, right? So what I can write in this case is 91 to the to the power of log n to the base 17 is equal to 91 square right so as per property of power and indices and powers uh, a raised to m is equal to a raised to n so i can simply write m is equal to n if a is greater than 0 that means i can simply equate the powers because this a is greater than 0 91 91 in this case so I can simply write log of 17 n that means log n base 17 is equal to 2. Therefore n is equal to what? 17 square. This is by first property of log. Huh? So n is equal to 17 square that is equal to 289. That should be the answer. Okay. So again a good property of log 2 utilized in the questions. right? So a, a power log bc is equal to c power log ba. This A and C basically, this A and C can be interchanged. Right. It can be proved by taking log both the sides. Right. But don't need to prove, simply remember the property. There are some not, so there are 8 to 10 concepts in the whole chapter, right? Okay. So we'll do a few questions and then at last we'll see the application of finding number of digits in log. How do you find number of digits in log? That will see. That's the most important part of log, right? That we'll see in the last part. Okay, let's practice some good questions, some good cat level questions, starting from basics. Okay, so first question. Log of base 4, x minus 1 is equal to log of base 2, x minus 3. You have to find number of solutions here. Number of solutions means how many values of x will satisfy this. So how will you solve it? If you observe this here, so base is here four, base is here two. So I can just equal uh, just I can just equate it right. So what I can write here, I can write this as log two is square, right? There's so many ways to solve a log question, right? So one way is log of two base x minus three. So I'm equating base both this side. Now here power is two, here power is one. So by the property of log, by log. Uh, base a raised to p and argument b raised to q this will come in division right so it comes like this this comes like this it becomes or half of okay now half of log 2 x minus 1 is equal to log 2 x minus 3 sorry log 2 x minus 3 now again by this property so I can just relate it, right? So let's say I, if I have now log of a raised to p. So what I can simply write this? I can simply write this as now because base is not known. Let's say base is 10 here. So 10 power is 1. It won't impact me. I can simply write it as p by 1 is equal to log 10a. That is equal to p log 10a. That means whatever is the argument power that goes here in multiplication for log. Okay. That means that P can come here. So that's similarly that P can come here also. Right. So whatever is, is there before multiplication in log. Okay, in this case it is half. That can come to simply power of this number. That means I can simply write it as. Or log of 2 x minus 1 raised to 1 by 2. Right. Is equal to log of 2 x minus 3. Now since log 2 log 2 same in both the case. I can now remove log 2 both sides I can remove log 2 because log is same so I can simply write it as now x minus 1 and half is equal to x minus 3 and again then I can square both sides right so then I can square both sides so now is squaring both sides is squaring both sides what I'll get is 
x minus 1 is equal to x minus 3 whole square that is equal to x minus 1 is equal to x square plus 9 minus 6x right now I can solve it so like it becomes x square minus uh, 7x sorry x square minus 7x huh, plus 10 is equal to 0. You solve this quadratic, it is solved as 5 and 2. Break it x square minus 5x minus 2x plus 10 is equal to 0. So now it becomes x square x into x minus 5 minus 2 into x minus 5 is equal to 0. That means x minus 2 into x minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay. So x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 5. This is the final I'm getting x minus 2 into x minus 5 is 0. Therefore, x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 5. So obviously, right, see what you have done here at this step we have squared. Right, so when I is squaring both sides of any algebraic equation, right, that means they are expanding the equation. So whenever you expand an equation, right, you may get extraneous roots. We call it extraneous root, that means you can get extra roots. Okay, so whenever you are expanding, whenever you are trying to squaring and cube, do squaring and cube of an algebraic equation, right, we are expanding that equation. So that's how you can get extraneous roots, that means extra roots. Huh? So I have to always check for those values that these values satisfy my conditions or, or not, right? That means if I put these values here, right? If I put these values here, so that does my x equal to 2 satisfy this log? So if I put x equal to 2 here, it's fine. 2 minus 1 is 1. So log 1 can be 0. But if I put x equal to 2 here, in this case, 2 minus 3 will become negative. 2 minus 3 will become negative. Log for negative number is not defined. That means x equal to 2 is not possible. Now let's check for x equal to 5. If I put 5 here, 5 minus 4, it's fine. 5 minus 3 is fine. That means I can put log x equal to 5. So we have only one solution for this question. That is x is equal to 5. Okay, I hope it is clear, right? Let's do one more problem. So let's say the question is 3 by 2 plus log of base 3 x raised to 1 by 4 okay is equal to log x 9x huh you have to find the value of x from here x so let's solve it so what we are getting here i can write like this 3 by 2 plus what i can write here 1 by 4 log 3x obviously this 1 by 4 can come in multiplication here okay is equal to log x 9x so i can just break like this i can break like log of x9 plus this is 9x okay so multiplication comes in addition in log so plus log of xx so by doing this this value will become 1 right and if this value will become 1 okay log xx will become 1 so what i'm left with now 3 by 2 plus now 1 by 4 log 3x and this is basically uh now log x9 okay so what you can write this as yeah so log of x9 you can write this as 1 by okay 1 by log of 9x hey this is always true okay this is always true you can always this base and this you can interchange with just dividing it by 1 this is reciprocal right that means basically what property of log i'm saying here is is again a property of log that log of base a b is equal to 1 by log of base b a is again a property of log okay so this property can be very useful right reciprocal log of base a b equal to 1 by log of base b a so by seeing this part here what i can observe in here is this is basically log of x log of x x becomes 1 Huh. And here in this part, I can write like, okay, this is log of x3 square. So 3 by 2 plus 1 by 4. If I try to make this base same, so 1 by 4 O of log x3, I can write, correct? This reciprocal. Huh. So 
is equal to now log of x3 square. This 2 will come here. Right, so I can directly write like log of 2 log 2 log 3x. So I can write this as 2 log 3x. Okay, 2 log 3 to the, to the base x plus 1 because log of x, x is 1. Base and argument same value becomes 1. Okay. Now, see, I can see this term same here. Log x3 and log x3 is same here. Okay. So, I'll just assume log x3 to be a, some variable a. Uh, so, just assume log of 3 base x is equal to a. Let. So, what this will do? So, I can write this equation as 3 by 2 plus 1 by 4a is equal to 2a plus 1. This I can write. I hope it is clear. So you can solve this solve this quadratic here, right? Again, so this part becomes twelve a plus two upon eight a is equal to two a plus one, right? Or it becomes twelve a plus two is equal to two a plus one into eight a. That is sixteen a square plus eight a. So the quadratic becomes now. 16a square minus 4a minus 2 is equal to 0. This is the quality in front of us, right? So I can break this 4 as 8, uh, I think uh, 4 will be, uh, I can just uh, break 4 as 8 and 4, right? It becomes 16a square minus 8a plus 4a minus 2 equal to 0 or it becomes 8a you take common it becomes 2a minus 1 plus 2 you take common again 2a minus 1 so let me write here now 8a plus 2 into 2a minus 1 is equal to 0 right so so in this case a is equal to what minus 1 by 4 or a is equal to what half this is the value of a here okay and then i can check with log log x now so what we put log x3 we put as a right that means log x3 is equal to minus 1 by 4 in that case what is the value of what is the value of this uh, uh, x we can write in this case so log if log of x the argument 3 is equal to minus 1 by 4 in that case, what I can write is 3 is equal to x raised to minus 1 by 4. Correct? And then you can do this power on both sides. Ah, so let, let me write here. Okay. Yeah. So 3 is equal to x raised to minus 1 by 4 we can write. And then we can, what we can do, we can multiply by minus 1 by 4 both, uh, take both the powers here, right? Or what else you can do also? Because you want in terms of x. So it was it was much lot easier here if we had converted to is to base 3 and some x here. Right. That was a lot, lot easier actually. Right. That means what I'm trying to say is if log of x3 is equal to minus 1 by 4, what you simply write it as? You write it as the, here. Okay. You write like this. 1 by log of 3x is equal to minus 1 by 4. Now that gives you log of 3x is equal to the yeah, log of x base 3 is equal to this becomes what minus 4 this becomes easier because in this case what i can write therefore x is equal to 3 raised to minus 4 is one solution right other solution a equal to half such to quit so log of x base 3 is equal to sorry log of correct no yeah log of no I assume this a to be log of 3 base x. So log of 3 base x is equal to half. Again, I can change this. Therefore, 1 by log of 3 base x, uh, x base 3 is equal to 1 by 2. Or I can simply write log of x base 3 is equal to 2. Therefore, x is equal to 3 square. That is 9. So 9 should be the answer, right? And then will satisfy both the part because we have not expanded anywhere, right? We don't have, we don't, we have not squared anything, right? We don't have extraneous roots also. So this is, this should be the answer. So x equal to 3 to minus 4 means answer should be what? 
it should be 1 by 81. So 1 by 81 and 9 should be the answer for this question. Okay, these are good question to start in log, right? To feel good in algebra, you can practice a little bit, 5, 6 steps on in this question, this kind of questions, right? So this will help you a lot, okay? So I hope you got it. We'll continue this in the next video. Thank you.